Hey guys, just received this bike in from Quiet Cat. It's the Apex Sport and did a little trial run. It's pretty cool. As you guys have seen, we have just recently done three of the leading or top electric bike brands. And I'm going to do a compare and contrast. I've gone from the bottom line price to a medium line price, and then this is the top of the line price. As far as power goes, I'm seeing very little difference in the three different, which is, which is crazy to me. I have had no reliability problems out of any of them. This is just out of the box. It's extremely expensive, and just putting it together, I can definitely say that it's got more, it's kind of like a more luxury model, bigger tires, it's lighter, it has a more sleek, aerodynamic frame it's got a better more cool screen um, but as far as function and reliability goes i don't necessarily see this as being any more reliable than any of the other bikes i really think that the velo wave was probably my favorite as far as bang for your buck goes and then i got a little bit of a bitter taste in my mouth with these guys because i agreed to do the marketing for this bike and then the marketing department has just been very rude. It's actually in defense of Quiet Cat, I think that they're using another company, like a marketing firm. But the marketing firm that they are they've gone with has just uh, been very rude, including you know threatening me and just different, just, just really just went from zero to a hundred in the messages, uh, all because it took a little bit longer than what they wanted for me to receive the bike. And I'm, I'm, you know, being a man of my word, I'm still gonna finish out the review and be completely honest. This is an extremely expensive bike. It's like 5,000 bucks. And uh, it's just, uh, it's, it's cool. The camouflage is a great color camo, although it's got black and shiny stuff all over it as well. I don't really understand why it has bright yellow, gold and shiny stuff if it's going to, for the camo look, but I think it's more of like a, a wealthy person's toy type thing. But we did show in this episode here that it is really neat and uh, it would be great for hunting because you don't have to walk as far. If you're going on trails, this can go on. I did try and take it up some steep inclines in the mountain and it wouldn't go just equally as the other two bikes won't go straight up. You have to pedal assist. So it's not like uh, what I would expect from like an electric dirt bike even. I think it's less powerful. Uh, the range is probably great, but I wouldn't say that it's an extreme trail monster like I thought it was gonna be. So a little bit of a letdown, but definitely a super cool luxury toy. I don't see it as being something that I would buy. And then uh, if I were to talk about electric hunting vehicles, it's nothing compared to like a bad boy buggy, which has been out for many years and something I've had some experience hunting on back in the day, which is like a top of the line luxury electric hunting vehicle. Really, I believe it was one of the first to gain popularity in the United States. Anyway, that's the review. We will do some compare and contrast and, and run this down and, and do a, uh, some more future videos for you guys on this bike. Let me know what you think. Uh, if you like these kind of videos, comment below. It's the only way I can keep them coming. Or otherwise, I'm just not going to be doing more electric bike reviews. If you guys don't like them, then let me know. Or we just won't get any views or comments, and I'll know that you guys don't like them. Thanks for watching. Bone out.